I'm in the front cabin of Lucy Para 2 and behind these white boards on both sides and actually throughout the boat along the hull we have used rock wool to insulate the boat and it's saving us about half the energy we need for heating. Today we are at Rockwool, just outside Copenhagen, where we hope to learn more about the latest innovation in building insulation. 80% of our business is, is within the insulation. You have a very energy intensive production process, but we, when we compare to all the energy saved during the lifetime of our product, it's next to nothing. In, in 2006 in Denmark we introduced in the building code two voluntary low energy classes. And it was stated that it could be expected that the low energy class 2 would be mandatory in 2010 and the low energy class 1 would be mandatory in 2015. And that was very, very uh, intelligent uh, to introduce that because it has meant that the market has adjusted and has set the mind towards now we have to change in five years time and has actually practiced the new requirements before it come into force. Yeah, yeah. So in Denmark, we are now able to, to, to make changes in the building code and the energy requirements without a lot of complaints, which we see in other countries where every time the government, the administration wants to make a strengthen uh, approach, the industry will say, it's not possible, we cannot do that. Constructing a renewable energy infrastructure is a costly resource and energy intense exercise. The less energy we need, the smaller our renewable energy infrastructure needs to be. Insulation of buildings therefore becomes an essential element of a sustainable energy future.